after uh, 16 years of uh, being a simple missionary in the countryside, I was a parish priest of a newly established community in the south of the country, where uh, so far the Catholic Church had never been present. I feel the the call is uh, made of uh, sacrifice and offering myself to the Lord for uh, the building up of his kingdom and especially to create uh, unity and communion and harmony in uh, in the local church. The church in Mongolia uh, exists as an apostolic prefecture, so we are not yet a diocese and not even an, an apostolic vicariate. We are still a young church. Nevertheless, we need also to consider that most of the um, church forces, energies, are represented by foreign missionaries. We have only one local priest and one deacon who is uh, getting ready to be ordained. But the, most of the uh, pastoral forces come from abroad, and it is important to create a sense of identity. We, we are a particular church in the universal church, and we do need to create uh, communion and unity among the different missionaries and uh, institutes that operate here. Your Grace, when you talk about identity, what are ways that you as a shepherd are developing that sense of identity of the Catholic people there in Mongolia? Thank you for the, this question, which is very important and brings us to the core of our missionary call. Mongolia is a young country compared to the West. When I go back to Europe and I, I, I look around, I see mostly elderly people. In Here in Mongolia, it is a great hope to see uh, young families, many children and uh, committed youth. But the, the risk for them is to get lost into the mess of uh, different messages they get from all kinds of resources. So for me, I make a point to, when I talk to them to to go straight to the what you what you mentioned before. What is the meaning of life? <laughs> 